you've only tested around about 7% of your total, I suppose, allotment. And at the same time, you, you are seeking approval to do initial stage drilling when it does come to the Julamar State Forest. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be looking at the, the prospect of someone mining in a state forest. I'm just looking in terms of perhaps providing a comparison with Rio Tinto and their issues that they have ongoing when it does come to Arizona and Resolution Copper. So can you assure people that are looking to invest in Chalice, that are looking to perhaps invest, actually just invest in your company, that it's going to be maintained at a high standard when it does come to ESG and you're not necessarily going to go in there and just you know completely deforest the entire forest, that it's all going to be environmentally friendly and safe if you do get that approval? Yeah, look, there's a couple of things to, to mention there. The first is that, that what we found is entirely uh, off the off the forest. So uh, we actually uh, purchased the freehold title to the farmland, which uh, which hosts the, our, our resource. Uh, but yeah, we are anticipating that the resource is going to extend into that forest area. Um, so I think there's, there's, a, there's a very important point to make here is that uh, we need lots more mining and we need lots of these metals like nickel, copper, cobalt um, and the PGEs if we're going to transition the, the energy system away from fossil fuels. And I think uh, if you look at uh, reports like the IEA, uh, I think in May this year, they said, uh, you know, you're looking at something like between four and six times more mining required uh, in terms of output of metals um, to, to get us off fossil fuels. So there's a uh, there's a dilemma there that uh, you know we we obviously um, take our environmental responsibilities in terms of biodiversity in terms of that forest we take those things very very seriously where it's not in our interest to uh, to unnecessarily clear vegetation uh, but um, the reality is that uh, that these deposits of and these metals are e exceptionally rare and they're not found everywhere so um, so look, we, we, we are uh, shortly uh, hoping to start some low impact drilling works uh, in that forest and, and really we don't really have a hole in there yet. So, so without drilling a hole uh, that, that, you know, really time will tell, you know, what we do find. But um, I think, you know, in, in this day and age, you need to be, you know, you need to be technically strong, you need to be operationally strong, but also obviously you need to have your environmental standards, your, your social and governance standards at the, at the world-class level as well. So that's certainly uh, where we think we are and, uh, and we're doing some great work in the, in the local community where we've got, uh, you know, the, the, the best mining act anywhere in the world uh, here in Western Australia. So, you know, we're very confident that uh, mining can take place and can coexist with other land uses like like agriculture, uh, as well as uh, as obviously in in areas of of forest like this.